the hybrid quad version of Aerosan really takes advantage of the maturity of the Aerosan system itself. Aerosan has been operating with our um, military customers in a contractor-owned, contractor-operated capacity for the last 30 plus months, has amassed over 150,000 hours of operational service. And so the next, in the next line of listening to our customers and upgrading our fleet of Aerosan, or at least providing a capability beyond the runway independence that Aerosan offers, is the opportunity to completely eliminate the launch and recovery system. We hear our customers talk about smaller footprints, more efficient operations, and so this system enables us to provide to those customers a very expeditionary small footprint system that leverages 150 plus thousand hours of operational service resident within the Arison. And adding the quad uh, didn't reduce the operational effectiveness of the uh, aircraft? At, at addition of the hybrid quad kit, which which I, I do want to uh, uh, say is, has been a independently funded by Textron Systems as part of our internal research and development. But yes, it, it does eliminate the launch and recovery system, and it does have some impact overall on, on system endurance. Um, we have characterized the system. We are in, we're, we're still um, defining the optimized system requirements for the eventual production ready Aerosan hybrid quad system. We are currently getting eight hours endurance at a 95 pound gross takeoff weight. Um, and, and we're looking to develop the system over the next several months into a 10 hour capacity. And this will allow the UAS to fly from the ship? Operations. Certainly, one of the platforms that 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 will uh, w will enable operation of the Aerosan Hybrid Quad is off of ships, where where sometimes small flight decks or flight decks that also have to support a, a rotary wing aircraft do not want to foul up that deck area with a launch and recovery system. We're able to launch and recover onto those small decks with a system that uh, allows us to operate coincident with, uh, with, with a rotorcraft. And you're doing undertaking trials, flight trials at the moment? We are. We, uh, we have tested our system and qualified our system down at our schoolhouse in, in Blackstone, Virginia. Um, we have a, uh, a demonstration with uh, our commercial customers and our military customers scheduled for October 6th where it will really be the first unveiling of the system in a in a public forum. We're going to demonstrate its capability. Uh, would you be able to retrofit uh, previous versions of this with the, the quad system? Absolutely. This system has been developed to be field adaptable to our Aerosan fleet. So basically it's an independently operated, independently powered system that can be applied. You basically take the booms off of an Aerosond in the field and replace them with the boom kit that has the integral electric motors, the four hybrid quad motors, and the batteries are inside the booms.